Hi friends, welcome. Welcome to another video. In this video, I wanna to talk to you about the fall and winter trends of 2022. Now, I'm definitely someone who doesn't follow trends all the time, but sometimes it's kind of fun to have fun with it and figure out what's cool and I guess what's not cool for this season and, you know, have fun with fashion and figure it out. So let's get into it. So I have my phone with me and a Starbucks holiday drink. And the first one that I want to talk to you about is a denim maxi skirt for fall and winter. This one over here is the Kate version of it. And I really genuinely think that Kate has kind of been on the forefront of just telling us what we what is cool and what is popular and what is coming up for the next season. And it looks like the denim skirt is going to be a thing. Now, I really don't know how I feel about it. It might be fun to pull off and maybe style and ha kind of have fun with it, but um, there's an alternative here that I found from Zara that is also kind of worth if you don't want to pay the big bucks. And I just don't think this is something that I'm going to pay the big bucks for, but if you want to have fun with it, this Zara one is a perfect way to go. Um, I think it could be cool, styled with boots and um, a long like coat and maybe something a little bit more simple, like a black coat and a black tank top, and you're good to go. You tell me if you're interested in this. The next trend I want to highlight was kind of at the tail end of August and September, and that is hot pink. We definitely saw that on the Valentino runway with all the models dressed up in hot pink, all the influencers at, uh, at Fashion Week, all in hot pink, and I even kind of caved and got this Frankie Shop matching hot pink set. Um, and we're definitely feeling the this trend. I mean, I'm loving it. I think it's so fun. I think it's just a bright, fun color. And I mean, we wear red and emeralds and royal blues during Christmas, so why not hot pink, right? Let me know if this is something that you're interested in. I think I'm, I'm definitely loving it. I love the bright color and it is so fun. The other thing that I wanna get to is the Hailey Bieber glaze nail. I think they are so fun. They are so girly and I feel like it's really bringing back the 90s a little bit. Um, I know that I remember like as a kid growing up, like I love the sparkly nails and I'm definitely bringing the 90s back. You put on some glazed nails, a black tank top, hoop earrings, um, baggy jeans and we are, we are going back to the 90s. We're going back to our childhood. I'm super into the Hailey Bieber nails. Another another thing that we're bringing back this um, autumn and winter time are white tank tops. So Prada, Prada is bringing back these white tank tops and this is kind of an expensive version of your classic white tank top, but I think a white tank top is definitely gonna be a staple in your autumn and winter wardrobe. And I mean, this is a simple, a simple trend that we can all get on board. Um, Aritzia has great options for this for not a super expensive brand, uh, for not a very expensive price tag. And I think it's just a staple. So I'm super in for, into this trend for sure. Another trend that we are seeing become kind of popular. I know, and it, it's something that I feel like a lot of the fashion influencers are really driving and a lot of brands are, but let me know if you would be interested in this trend. And that is the platform heel. It's your classic Mary Jane with uh, your platform heel. So I remember graduating high school, I wanna say 10 years ago, and platforms being a huge thing. So this is kind of a take on that. And Valentino and um, Versace are doing such a cool, like I think it's so cute, but like let me know if you're interested in this trend. I, you know, maybe if it was on sale and discounted or if I can find a dupe, I might be interested in this trend, but like, I think it's super cute. I think honestly that preppy look, like let's bring that back. That's, I think it's super cute. And something that I would definitely wear for like a party, especially during this time of year, there's gonna be a lot of holiday parties. And I think this would be a really, really cute, fashionable look and like fun to style. Now, this is definitely like your girly girl look and definitely not that minimus, minimal cool girl look, but I, I think I would be super into this trend. For this holiday season, I think what is going to 
have a massive, a bigger comeback are sequins. We're already see seeing sequins during the summer months. Like the, I think Santa Brands is doing a great, amazing job at really pushing the sequin trend through fashion influencers. And I love it. Honestly, they're selling me on this because I am so into it. It looks so chic, so fun. I mean, like, it's like literally the epitome of Parisian style at this point. Um, having all the influencers stand in front of the Eiffel Tower shimmering and having the Eiffel Tower shimmering in the background, like who's not obsessed with that? Because I definitely am. And I think Santa Brands is such an amazing up and coming brand. And them pushing the sequin trend through, like I love it. Um, but it is pricey. So I'm looking for dupes where I can. I know Jimmy Choo is also pushing through the sequin trend in their in these boots. Like I love them, but there's actually there's actually an alternative at Aldo for kind of the same look. And so I feel like a lot of the small like the fast fashion retailers, if you're really interested in trying these trends, honestly, maybe that's that's the way to go. You you're trying these brands, you're not investing a ton in it in a trend, and you're just having fun with fashion. And Honestly, I think sequins will always be a timeless piece for the holiday season, and why not have a little bit of fun with it, right? Um, so I'm really loving the sequin trend. Um, I know Mac and Mac, I think that's how you pronounce it. I think they're also, like, with those bow heels, obsessed. They're so gorgeous, and that's kind of a little, a little way that is kind of like, I, I guess I would say it's a timeless way. Like, I mean, those are great shoes for a holiday party. Like birthdays, I think they're they're fun. They're, they're a way to add a tiny bit of fun. And if you're super into it, like I love the glam, the glitz and the glamour. And like, as someone who loves going to Vegas, like planning my Vegas outfits, and I think these would be perfect for that. And so kind of on the topic of glitz and the glamour, I think what we're also seeing is a lot of feather. So I think Feather will be a really, really fun brand. And I've always loved, like Feather is so fun. It is so girly, so chic, and so like glamorous as well. And I think pairing sequins with Feather, I think it's going to be the thing, the thing for the holiday season. And Sleeper um, is actually a great daily sleeper, is a great brand to find um, Feather, like honestly, the, the Feather, um, PJ said that you're seeing all over Instagram, that's definitely Daily Sleeper. And I think they're doing an amazing job at that feather trend. I'm obsessed. And honestly, the prices are pretty decent for what you're getting. So most of the time, the PJ sets come in a pair. So you get the bottom and the top, and it's around, I wanna say four or 500 Canadian dollars. So it's not breaking the bank, and it's just such a fun way to incorporate that. And they're a pretty good quality brand. So, Definitely highly recommend checking them out if you haven't already. Speaking of the holidays, I think another thing that we're kind of start to see is kind of like um, the glamorous glove and uh, strap and bandeau style dresses. I think it's that like old Hollywood, Marilyn Monroe, Breakfast at Tiffany's kind of look. And I think it's gonna be so fun for the holiday season. I, Definitely keep your eye out on that because I think it's going to be so fun. And honestly, it's such an easy look to pull off too. If you already have a bandeau dress and pick up a pair of gl black gloves and you're good to go with that style, honestly, that and a pair of sequin boots, perfection for the holidays. So you, he you heard it here first. So that's definitely something that I'm super interested in. So moving, so moving away from that kind of glamorous holiday style, um, another like this, a really trendy look right now is that minimalist cool girl look. And so I have been here all for it and I think it's so fun and so easy to pull off. And the epitome of that style, I want to say, is Frankie Shop. I think Frankie Shop is doing an amazing job um, with the oversized blazers and the oversized pants so we're seeing a lot of cargo pants we're also seeing a lot of the paper bag style kind of baggy pants and paired with a pair of sneakers is literally the cool girl style of the of the moment um this i want to say also paired with a pair of like oval sunglasses so celine does a great pair and i have a pair of the celine ones um, that on top of a shoulder bag like the dior saddle over the shoulder i think is literally the epitome of the cool girl style at the moment and honestly so for that cool girl style i think it's comfortable it's baggy it's oversized and we're seeing a lot of the oversized look come back 
Uh, let me know if you're interested in the, that kind of baggy style as well because I think it's gonna be, I think we're going into a trend where we're more focused on comfort, something more baggy, loose fitting but also having it kind of come back to the tailored pieces like a tailor, like a tight, tighter tank top. And moving on to bags, what we're really seeing with bags are shoulder bags. I think the shoulder bag trend has definitely come back, like hands down, like the shoulder bag game is the way to go for bags at the moment. And if you're following trends with bags, we're seeing a lot of uh, brands like Bottega coming out with a shoulder, a shoulder bag version of their cassette bag. We're also seeing Prada with their triangle bag. And of course my Dior saddle bag is a timeless classic and I think I'm gonna have that forever and I think it's gonna go with my style forever. So the shoulder bag is definitely the way to go right now and I love it, I am obsessed. And we're seeing Prada bring out some really, really fun styles and cool styles with that. We're also seeing Celine. Celine also has a, their Triumph, and that is honestly the it bag of the moment, is the Triumph, uh, the Celine Triumph bag. And we're seeing that also come out in a shoulder bag version. So the shoulder bag is definitely the it bag at the moment. And a few, a few of the brands that I do want to highlight that are just killing it right now is definitely Celine. Celine with their Triumph bag, Celine with their oval sunglasses. I think Celine is doing an amazing job. They are so fun, so trendy, and like literally the, one of the it brands at the moment. Um, them and along with Prada. I think Prada has always done such a fabulous job bringing in um, it items, especially when we saw the a reissue bag with the sequins. Like, they, they brought in the 90s and sequins all in one, and it was so fun. And last but not least, it is the comeback of the mini skirt. So we definitely saw the mini skirt come back with, during the Miu Miu runway with this skirt, but um, Kate is also bringing this style out, and I think mini skirts are making the biggest comeback. And I'm not sure how I feel about it. I love it. In certain instances, I definitely love it. But as like as a petite girl, I'm loving it because it really flatters my style. But let me know what you think about it. I think it really does depend on the skirt and depends on like the look of the skirt. But I think I think it's super cute. We're definitely living that 90s nostalgia because mini skirts are, yeah, super fun and definitely a um, a 90s item. Thank you so much for watching and I really hope you enjoyed this video and, and found some trends that you might be interested in exploring. I know I am definitely going to jump on some of these trend um, trends for sure. And please remember to click up the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you next time. See you later.